Hello, I'm Jay, owner of Volunteer Audio in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, and today I'm making a video showing you how to pull the eq.bin file out of your radio. Now, what does that mean? It means I'm going to tell you how to find out which flash is in your current radio and if you need to flash it to upgrade or add an amplifier and better speakers to your bike. So whether you have the 4.3 inch boom radio, the 6.5 GT, or the factory GTS in your 14 to 23 slash 24 model bikes, I'm going to show you how to get to the service menu and find out all the information you need. So keep watching and I'll show you more in a few minutes. All right, so I've spent many, many hours testing Harley radios, doing all the techno research flashes, and I've put together a database of all the EQ.BIN files in the factory radio, and I have made sure that I know the voltage that comes out of the radio, what happens to the bass boost, if the rear speakers work, all the things that we need to know to know if the flash we're using is the right flash for our audio upgrade. Now these are gonna be available in a much easier to read format, not my chicken scratch that I've wrote down here at volunteeraudio.com. But I'm gonna show you how to pull that number out of your radio so you can go there and find out which flash you currently have. And we're gonna do another video after this. This is a four part video series. This is video number two. When we do video number three, I'm gonna go in and show you what every one of these do. So you'll be able to know by your BIN number, which one you currently have. You can go to that section of that video and I'll be able to tell you what that output of your radio looks like so you know if you need to do a different flash to upgrade your audio system. All right, so we're with our GTS radio here. This is a 2024 model, Ultra Limited. It does still have the GTS radio because this, the Ultra Limited didn't change to the new body style yet. I'm gonna show you how to get into the back side of the menu here. First, we're gonna turn our ignition on. Now we're gonna wait for our radio to turn on and we're gonna wait for it to come up to the accept screen. This radio is a little slow at turn on, but let's wait for it to come on here. All right, so it's powering up. As soon as we get to the accept screen, I want you to hold the power slash mute button down. It's popped up, we're gonna hold it. Now just continue to hold it until it brings up a service menu in the back side of the radio. All right, so now we see service menu. I want you to select audio on screen. From that point, we're gonna click EQ. And now you're gonna see a list of different EQ BIN numbers here. Now, none of this matters. This is all the available ones. I just want you to hit the info button and that's gonna display the current one in your bike. So the current one in this bike is 00, zero off dot bin. So now we know which flash is in the stock radio. Now on a GTS, this is how you do this process. If you have a GT or a 4.3 boom, keep watching. I'm going to show you on those two. And at the end, I'll go into a little bit more about what each one of these does, adding up going into our next video where I go in great, great detail on it. So let's move on to our next radio. All right, so I've put a GT radio in this bike. So I'm going to show you the same process we just went through on the GTS, but on a GT. It is a little different. So what I want you to do is I want you to turn on your ignition and we're going to start immediately. We're going to start holding the power button on the GTS. We didn't start doing that till the accept screen came up. So on the GT, we're going to do it from the beginning. These radios are really slow. So this is a little bit of a longer process. So ignition on, as soon as you see this come up, start holding that power mute button and just keep holding it all the way till the accept screen comes on. All right, so now the accept screen is up. I can let off on the power button. I can hit accept. And you'll see we're now in the service menu again. So same thing as last time, we're gonna select audio. We're then gonna select EQ. And at this point, it's so slow, it's not loaded all the EQs yet. It will if you wait long enough. But if you'll hit the info button, it will bring up your current BIN code that's in your radio. This one's a 149 off that that is what we want to look at. We want to compare that later to see what that means as far as how the EQ in our bike is. So let's move on. I'm going to show you how to do this on the 4.3 boom. 
It's a little bit harder. And then all three of the variations will be covered, and we'll talk about what each file can do. All right, so on to the third radio option. This is what they call the Boom 4.3. If you have this radio, I highly recommend replacing it. Sound-wise, it's not bad, but it really just doesn't have any of the features that most of us want, and it's very, very slow. So I would tell you to buy one of the Soundstream radios. I think they're a better value than flashing this radio. But we know in this world, we don't have endless pocketbooks. A lot of times we're on a budget, and if you decide you want to do amps and speakers, and later do the radio, I'm going to continue on and show you how to pull that BIN code to know if you need to flash it, and, and you can kind of weigh that into the, what you're going to do. Now, on top of that, some of our customers have had a Boom Stage 2 system with this radio, later bought a Soundstream radio wanting to retain the Boom 2 system. You need this EQ.BIN code because you put it in the radio. So if you have a factory amp from Boom Stage 1 or Boom Stage 2, this video would also help you find that BIN code in your style radio to move into Soundstream Reserve HDHU14SI or the V2 radio where you put that code in. If you don't have a factory amplifier that you're retaining, there's no reason to put any code in the Soundstream radio, so do not put a non-amped code in it. That's not going to help you any. So we're going to power our radio on, just turn the ignition on, and then we're going to hold the power button, and we're going to continue to hold it through the accept screen. That's going to bring up our uh, service menu, and I'll show you how to get to that EQ file. This one's not touch screen, so it's a little different in how we do this. Just keep holding it. All right, so once that accept screen went off, you'll see we're in the service menu. Now, on this particular radio, you have to push these buttons on the side to get through. So we're going to select audio. We're going to select EQ. Now we're going to select the one that gives us that I, just as if we were touching the screen. And we're going to find out our current EQ version is 01 off BIN. So I'm going to go over some more detail on this. These codes mean nothing. Harley's purposely made this where you don't know what it means. We've deciphered that code. We're going to share it. I've got the next video coming after this one. I'm going to show you every single flash that the Techno Research Tool can do. I'm going to show you which name brand flashes are just that same factory flash, which one's which, and which BIN code lines up with each one. I'm also going to share all the BIN codes that if you have in your radio, there's no need to flash the radio if you have those codes, if you're putting in one of the volunteer audio aftermarket amp systems. And we'll go over that in more detail in the next video, so definitely watch it. But this video was designed to show you how to pull the code. We'll go in more depth in another video showing you what they all do. But I'll tell you, I've got all those BIN codes I've got them all going in a spreadsheet, and it'll be available at volunteeraudio.com. Just go to our install help section, uh, and there you'll be able to pull up and see each bin code and what it means on your system. So trying to make this easy, trying to make it useful and helpful to you, uh, and share some information. It's always a secret at the dealership. So let's move on. I'll show you our next video. Uh, definitely watch the series. There's four parts to it. This is only part number two. So watch the next video. Thank you for watching. Definitely subscribe to Volunteer Audio. Follow us on Facebook. Make sure you get to see these next videos and all of our other content. We're going to show you things about Harley Audio that you won't see anywhere else. We're also going to tell you about the latest products when they come out, step-by-step -step videos on how to install them. And after that, we're going to show you how to use them so you get the most out of that purchase. Uh, definitely comment below if you have any questions. We're very, very quick to reply to those comments. And if there's something else you want to see, shoot me an idea. Maybe we'll make a video on that too. Like this video, it's free to you, it helps us, and it helps other people see this video. Could save them a lot of money on flashing their radio in the future. If you have questions about putting a system in your bike, maybe I've said too much, I've confused you, that wasn't my intent, but if I have, you can always give us a call. We've got live people here in the U.S. at Volunteer Audio ready to speak to you. They're experts in their field. We've got sales and tech support at 1-844-30-AUDIO. We want to hear about your bike, your budget, your build, We'll help you do the right package to make the right decision the first time so you don't waste any money. Give us a call. We'd love to talk to you and help you out. Thank you so much for watching. You can check out all of our packages that are available at volunteeraudio.com. It's also where you get a techno research tool that you can either buy or rent to flash your own radio. And if you want to see all the techno research dealers across the country, go to technoresearch.info, put in your zip code, and find out if there's one local that can do that flash for you as well. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, God bless.